at Nationals last summer. Third in the 203 already at this point. Swimming family, obviously, coach by her dad, Bruce, and who was a great swimmer himself, Andrew, an Olympian, her brother. I love what you said about Maddie Mantinko, just for a second on her, 15 years of age, won't turn 16 until August, and is the daughter of Lindsay Mantinko, who swimming fans might remember that name, back in, oh gosh, three-time Olympian, and also the national team director presently for USA Swimming, also a father, Mike, who was a great swimmer for Canada, national team. Right now, getting into a groove is Leah Smith. Again, like a lot of athletes, always tinkering potentially with their training. She made the shift to Texas in Longhorn Aquatics, and it seems to have done wonders for her. And sometimes, Rowdy, that kind of fresh set of eyes on your skills, fresh voice, fresh surroundings seem to really spark some resurgence in a lot of athletes. And, and I think that's, I think you and I have talked about this, and the fact that I think the sport needs to stay fresh within yourself if you're going to keep being successful. Sometimes that means staying at the same program for your entire career. Many have done that. Sometimes change is necessary. For me, admit, it has been a huge boost for her to go down there at Texas and swim with Carol Capitani, who we know had a, a sensational year at Texas this year. Her coach will be the head coach of the women's team this summer, the World Championship. Women in this race a little bit different here in this session than she did at prelim. Prelim, she basically even split the race out 205 flat, back in 205 5. Not swimming at like that here. Much faster going out. In fact, she'll be 202 flat going out. So about three seconds faster. Then she went in the prelims. Aaron Gemmel, closest pursuer right now, but over two and a half seconds behind. Third with Sierra Schmidt and Mentenko looking for another PB here at this meet, holding down fourth. We have 59 3, 1026 on the 2 100 splits. So that's right on track to be certainly under 410, which she went this morning. There's no doubt about that one, but I don't see her being chased down in this. This is Leah Smith, by the way, who usually the one is sort of like this with Katie Ledecky, as well as everybody else in the world, at least with the exception now of a couple of swimmers, some of McIntosh and Ariane Tempest. But Usually this is what we see Katie do. It's a nice feeling for Leah Smith. I can imagine her being so far out front. Swimming in the lead here. Again, Katie Ledecky had plans on coming to this Tier Pro swim, but a little under the weather, so she decided to stay back home at a training base in Gainesville, Florida. Forward to seeing her later in the build-up to Phillips 66 Nationals and the Worlds. And Leah Smith, Katie Ledecky, Rowdy, Partnered together, the two vets with the two teenagers last summer, the women's 4 by 200 play team, Bella Sims, Blair Weinstein, in that thrilling gold medal race. Yeah, that, that was so much fun to watch. You had two veterans, a couple youngsters in there, and uh, what a relay for the United States. Well, from the very first stroke, the very first stroke, this was all about Leah Smith. Just the question about the time and where it relates to what she did in prelims for 10.55 earlier today. And drops that by about two and a half seconds. 407.95, the victorious time for Leah Smith. Her second event win here of the week after grabbing the 800 free. Now takes the 400 free as well here at this tier pro swim series event. Nice race for second with Gimmel and Mentenko. Mentenko goes her best time again by a couple of two and a half seconds. So nice swim for the youngster at 15. And Leah Smith with that victory here, yet another great race in Westmont.
So Leah Smith popping out. Getting ready to enjoy that one as she put together a pretty complete performance. Yeah, it, it really was from start to finish. Here's the hundred turn here out very quickly. Sorry, this is the halfway point, but you could see and get a sense of the dominance that she had in this relay, or excuse me, in this race right here. She's out in double O or 202 rather, and uh, really never looked back. A little bit different strategy, but still a solid swim. And Leah Smith is with us. Hey, we've been talking about last summer you mixed with kids on the relay and, and helped the U.S. to gold. What keeps you motivated now at this point in your career? Yeah, um, I don't have a lot of time left in my career, so I'm just really savoring every moment and enjoying time with my team. Um, what keeps me motivated is just having fun with the girls at practice every day. How much do you love Austin? I love it. <laughs> Look, I'm <laughs> it's a great, a great city, a great team. Congrats. Thank you. Leah Smith and a 